Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. What is up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be talking about Bixby which is Samsung's attempt at an AI personal assistant. It is essentially Samsung's version of Siri, Google Assistant or Katana. It launched on the Galaxy S8 and somewhat ironically a lot of the adverts for it had the tagline Bixby says hello which people quickly realised wasn't going to happen as it launched without any voice support whatsoever. Unfortunately, it didn't really stop there for Samsung. They touted this really cool photo feature which would allow you to take a photo and identify what you're taking the photo of. And this purportedly would work with different brands, different objects, it would link to shopping outlets online. It was going to be really powerful. Unfortunately, it doesn't work at all. I have taken photos of the most ubiquitous objects on the planet. It can't recognize an iPhone. And as you can see from all these other examples, it hasn't managed to work with a single thing I've taken a photo of. However, the most annoying thing about Bixby is this hardware button. Now, an extra hardware button on a phone is no bad thing. It gives you loads of extra functionality, and we've been using shortcuts like double tap power to operate the camera. And people have realized that hardware buttons are actually quite nice. They're easily accessible, and you know they're always going to be there. However, mapping a button specifically to only launch Bixby and then making sure people can't remap it when the software itself doesn't really work is kind of cheeky. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So the app we are using is called Bixby Remapper and this does exactly what you'd expect. It allows you to remap your Bixby button. And there are a few different options that you can choose. You can have it set so you can open a specific application of your choosing. This is the most stable option and it's the one that I would suggest. But you can also set it to do a bunch of other things from opening Google Assistant, which kind of works but is a little bit buggy, to turning your torch on and off, opening your home button, your back button, your recent menu, basically all the things that you can think of you can map to this button. And it really is that simple. Just by downloading this app you can customise your Bixby button and use it for any application of your choosing. My personal preference is to have it launch Android Pay. You can also use it as a torch, which is really useful, but just the ability to customise it is great. So there you are guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to comment, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. You can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.